Okay, let's try this again. This is like take three. Hopefully I'm gonna just <laughs> My name is Michelle and this is my channel Pummels of Antiquities and I thought it would be fun to share a top 10 favorite thrifted items of 2022. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to start with these mugs that I paid 50 cents a piece for. And they are made in Japan by Sears and Roebuck, or for Sears and Roebuck. And they say 1975 on them. But they are super cute. And I have kept these in my collection. I don't think I'll be selling them anytime soon anyway. You'll be the first to know if I do. Um, then, second item that I will share with you that is a favorite thrifted item is this hen on Nest. She is ceramic. I bought her with several others. only paid a dollar. And the other ones that I bought, they were the milk glass type. And I only paid a dollar each for those also. And I have sold probably three or four of them. I might have two left in my collection. But I loved her. She is made in Japan, as you can see there. And she is probably going to stay in my collection for quite some time also. If you haven't noticed, I like hens, chickens, roosters, love them. They are just some of my favorite things to collect. Um, another item, we'll call it item number three, that I picked up this last year that is a favorite is this porcelain doll head. Got its legs, arms, and there was a note stuck up in her head and then nobody knew, no one knew at the thrift store that that note was in there. But I looked in it after I bought it because I thought it was, I was trying to clean it up and I just thought it was something stuck up in her head like material from when she was an actual doll. But this note says, uh, bought from an old lady in Chillicothe, Missouri. Age of doll, about 1865, all original. Uh, feet, hands, head, number five. Bought March 18th, 1981 for $100. I gave $5 for her. And I'm happy to have her. Probably won't part with her anytime soon either. And I will keep this note inside of her. I don't know if she was actually a doll from 1865, like the note says, but she could be. Look at that face. She is really quite lovely. And I'm happy to have her. And she sits up on one of my shelves in a little jewelry casket, with little pearls around her, and I've got her legs sticking up. I like it. I think it's kind of cute. So that's my third favorite thrifted item of 2022. Um, tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I work Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 4.30. And to 8 to 4.30, goodness. Every day at lunchtime, I hit the thrift store. We've got a nice little local thrift store and I find a lot of treasures there. I love it. It's just you know, just the thought of, you know, what can I find today? And usually I find something good. Um, these are another example of some good stuff that I found at the thrift store this last year. Now these are missing the cellophane on the front of their boxes, but they are wonderful. They are little dancing dolls. You wind them up and they shake. And uh, they are made by Sweetheart. And, sorry, it's hard to see. That light's in my eye and I can't see up close with my contacts. But look at this little guy. 
I want to say these are probably at least from the 60s, maybe even 50s. Let's get the girl out. I think the key is in her box. Look at her little socks. Isn't that so cute? I love them. I really do. Um, I don't think I'll be selling them. Not only do I love them, but my husband loves them. Look at how they're just adorable. They spin like in circles. And if I had the camera lowered, I would show you on the table. But I do have a video, if you want to go back and watch it, of them dancing. You can probably put that in the description of this video, the link to that. So those are four, yeah, four of my favorite thrifted items from 2022. Let's take a look at a few more things. This will seem like a weird item, but I love this little Johnson & Johnson's rusty, little cabinet. I don't even know. Now I can't open it because I'm videotaping it. But this is in my bathroom. And I love it. I have sealed it with clear coat. I only paid $10 for this. And on the other side, which is pointing towards the wall, it has a little glass display. And you would put the advertising in there. I love it. I think it's the cutest thing. It was only $10. So that is one of my favorite thrift finds. And here is another one of my top 10 thrift finds. It's a little music box made in Germany. Super sweet. Look at that. I paid 50 cents for this at the thrift store and it said it did not work and I thought well that little house itself is worth 50 cents so I brought it home and I toyed with it a little and I got it to work and I think it is just an absolute little treasure okay so I think that makes six of my favorite things that I thrifted last year um, so let's go with another one of my favorites was the head vase that I found for a dollar. I'll go ahead and insert a picture here because she is actually in one of my cases at um, my antique booth over at Bolivar at Country Classics. So I'll put a picture here of her. I gave a dollar and that is an amazing price. So I was really, really tickled. Um, you can probably see a video of her. Um, I was really excited, so I created a YouTube short. And also, in the very same um, shopping experience, I guess I could say, I found three blue Arnart mice. Now, originally they were chained together. Um, they have lost their chain, and they might have even had like a another baby mouse so I think there would be three baby mice they were so cute and I only gave a dollar fifty for the trio so that was a good find but we won't count that we're just gonna count the head face and the mice are a bonus um, another one of my favorite thrifts was my German smoker man I found him didn't really know what he was but I thought he was really neat. I could tell he was handcrafted. And once I got him home and I used uh, the Google lens to try to find out a little more about him, um, I saw that he was the, you know, you take him apart, you put a little incense cone in them, and then the smoke comes out of the mouth that looks like he's smoking his pipe. Love that. That is in my booth also. And I've got a list here because I will not remember. Uh, oh, my husband thrifted this item. We're gonna go for a two for one. He went into a thrift store. He never goes into thrift stores, but he went into one um, 
It's called Go to Carries, and it's in Bolivar, Missouri. And he brought me home a double-faced trick-or-treat jack-o'-lantern bucket. It's got the happy sad. Well, inside the bucket, oh, let me not forget. He only paid a dollar. And inside this bucket were just, I don't even know what was in there. There were several things. But one of the items in there that he was gonna throw away was a Pez dispenser and it was a doctor. I looked it up and had seen it just sold on eBay for, I don't know, close to $200. So yeah, I put it on eBay and we sold it for 160, I think. Yeah, 160, 50. I will insert a picture here. Pretty cool. So, the next thing, I've got to be getting close to 10. I'll have to count after this. Um, probably my very favorite thing that I found last year at the thrift store was, and I just shook the table so you're shaking. Sorry about that. Okay, steady. Get excited. <laughs> um, I went into the thrift store. I was looking around, and on a shelf was a part of a fairy lamp. And I'm like, oh. And then on the next shelf up was the other part of the fairy lamp. Not only was this a fairy lamp, but it was an Ellie Smith Moon and Stars amethyst, purple amethyst. They were a dollar a piece, so I spent two dollars on a purple amethyst Ellie Smith Moon and Stars fairy lamp perfect condition. Um, I think maybe there were two little straw marks. You know, that's just manufacturing. That's no big deal. No cracks, no chips. <sighs> anyway, I looked that up and saw it had really good value. So I listed it on eBay and it sold for $660. So that is my favorite thrifted find for 2022. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I just wanted to share some of the things that made me happy last year that I found while out thrifting. And I hope this year will be a great thrift year again, not only for me, but for you. And I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. And I hope you are having a happy new year. Thanks for watching.